that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is a great pleasure to introduce a member of our parish family, now a seminarian, to deliver today's reflection. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. That's what Jesus said on the cross. As a kid, I saw a dude in a diaper getting worse than me with my daddy's belt when he was drunk. But I figured I could never screw up as bad as Jesus. Whatever he did to deserve that. And as a man, I thought, you know what? It serves him right. Kind of lie to the world and make us think we got to kiss his bloody feet for a pat on the head. Look, now, we've all been wrong, and we've all done some wrong. Some of us worse than others. But with them words I said up top, Jesus asked his father God to forgive the folks tacking him up. He ain't come to condemn the world, make us cower in shame for our sins. Uh-uh. He came to forgive us. Think about it. We ask Jesus to forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. God's forgiveness is contingent upon us forgiving others. That's the deal. It ain't easy to do. Truth is, we ain't got no power to do it ourselves. None of us, not a one. It's all God's grace. That's the man right there. You just gotta let him in. He'll do the heavy lifting. 